Neanderthals, our closest kin in the evolutionary tree, have fascinated people for decades, fueling scholarly research. Once inhabitants of Eurasia, they left an indelible mark on evolutionary history, shaping us genetically and potentially culturally. But who are Neanderthals, and how are humans related to them? Neanderthals are species of archaic humans that lived in Eurasia during the Paleolithic, and are believed to have descended from Homo heidelbergensis. The word Neanderthal is originally named after the Neander Valley in Germany, where the first recognized specimen of a Neanderthal was found. The specimen was named Feldhofer I or Neanderthal I, and it consists of a skull cap, two femora, three right arm bones, two left arm bones, ilium, and fragments of a scapula and ribs. The oval-shaped skull features a low, receding forehead and distinct brow ridges, as well as thick and strong bones. However, technically, the first Neanderthal specimen was Engis II, discovered by naturalist Philippe Charles Schmeling in Belgium in 1829. Engis II consists of a cranium, jaw bones, and some teeth, and it was of a two or three year old Neanderthal child, though it wasn't classified as Neanderthal until the 20th century. Neanderthals had robust facial features, such as big brow ridges, a prominent occipital bun, a pronounced facial front, a long elongated skull, big eye orbits and a protruded nose with wide nostrils. They had a big strong jaw, with no chin though, resulting in a powerful bite force, compared to Homo sapiens. In addition, they were robust and stockier build, with large wide shoulders, a wide barreled shaped trib cage and large hands. The wide lower thorax of Neanderthals and the horizontal orientation of the ribs suggest that Neanderthals relied more on their diaphragm for breathing. Compared to Homo sapiens, their spine was less curved. The neck vertebrae of Neanderthals are thicker from the front to the rear and transversely than those of most modern humans, leading to stability, possibly to accommodate a different head shape and size. Neanderthals had big feet, a wide pelvis, short limbs, thicker feet, and their height is speculated to be from 155 cm to 175 cm. Their shorter limbs were an adaptation to retain heat in the cold climate. The average size of their brain cases was 1,400 cubic centimeters to 1,600 cubic centimeters, which is larger than the average size for Homo sapiens. Their bodies were adapted to cold climates, as they stored fat to keep warm, along with higher basal metabolic rates. Their DNA indicates that they had higher amounts of fast twitch muscle fiber and greater muscle mass, as adaptations for sprinting. Neanderthals share greater levels of similarity with modern human populations living around the Arctic region, as they both have shorter limbs, higher basal metabolic rates, and greater fat storage capacity. Researchers suggest that Neanderthal ears indicate Neanderthals had the same physical capacity for hearing as modern humans, and could have also produced the same sounds humans can, though this is still a matter of debate. Their larger eyes likely helped them see properly in the low light of higher altitudes. When it comes to skin color, Neanderthals had different pigmentation of skin eyes and hair, ranging from dark to light. Based on the fossils and tools found, Neanderthals inhabited Europe, West Asia, and Central Asia. 
they can be divided into two lineages that diverged at least 130,000 years ago, with the second lineage further diverging into two subgroups at least 190,000 years ago. Neanderthals, a closest to other archaic human species named Denisovan. Neanderthals are associated with the Mustrian tool industry and used stones to create axes, blades, and spears for hunting and other purposes. Neanderthals were apex predators that primarily consumed meat, feeding on animals such as deer and occasionally mammoths, though they also included plants in their diet. Claims have been made regarding Neanderthals' engagement in art and adornment but the verification of these claims is still a subject of debate. While there is limited evidence of their social life, it is suggested that Neanderthals lived in small bands consisting of 10 to 30 individuals, and likely practiced a form of patrilocality, where women chose mates from outside their local group. Neanderthals exhibited uncertain degrees of sexual dimorphism, with Neanderthal males being more robust and having larger body sizes compared to females. The relationship between Neanderthals and Homo sapiens was largely shrouded in obscurity, but in 2010, when the first report of the Neanderthals genome was released, it revealed a lot of information about this relationship as it showed Homo sapiens derive a small chunk of ancestry from Neanderthals. The first interbreeding between ancestors of modern Eurasians and Neanderthals took place 50 to 60,000 years ago in Levant West Asia. All modern Eurasians have 1 to 3 percent Neanderthal ancestry, with East Asians having the highest followed by Europeans and Middle Easterners. Earlier, it was presumed that sub-Saharan Africans lack Neanderthal ancestry, but studies have shown that sub-Saharan Africans do possess a little amount of Neanderthal ancestry, due to the backward migrations of Homo sapiens into Africa. Based on genome analysis, Homo sapiens and Neanderthals diverged 300,000 to almost 1 million years ago. Interestingly, some studies have shown Neanderthals had human sex chromosomes, indicating an unknown pulse of Homo sapiens that mysteriously went extinct after interbreeding with Neanderthals at least 100,000 years ago. The extinction of Neanderthals is still a matter of debate among researchers, with many factors being ascribed to their extinction such as climate change diseases brought by humans, competition with Homo sapiens and interbreeding with Homo sapiens.